Hey y'all. So now we're gonna do the who that deck and we're gonna see what the collective needs to receive regarding these individual energies, okay? So Holy Spirit, let's get the first character. Who are we talking about today? Okay, we have here a male cousin. We have someone who's in the fashion industry. All right, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull two more. Wait, let me move this right here. All right. All right, Holy Spirit, who's involved? Let me get one more. Okay, let's see what's up. We have a Capricorn man. Okay. And let me get one more. A new neighbor and your mother. Okay, so we got two. Okay, so let's see. What does the collective need to receive regarding these energies? All right, Holy Spirit. Let's see. All right, Holy Spirit, talk to me about this male cousin. What does the collective need to know about this male cousin? This could be, this could be even a distant cousin, like, you know, second cousin. Uh, somebody's cousin in your family, you know, like your mom's cousin, something like that. If, if you, if you, if you don't know who this cousin is, it could go something deep. Okay. So let's see. Holy spirit. What is this male cousin? The fuck? <laughs> the car's feeling real sticky right now. Maybe they're in a sticky situation. Okay. Yeah, they're blocked right now from a situation, a creative block. Maybe they cannot get themselves out of a situation. They're very manipulative and irresponsible. They're feeling emotionally low at this time because the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck, they got defeated with whatever they was trying to do here. They're hitting rock bottom. So, yeah, they're in a sticky situation, all right? That was definitely confirmation. Yeah, cycle is closed out right now, all right? This cycle is over with whatever was going on with this male cousin, all right? This cousin could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this King of Cups reverse. Definitely a karmic cousin here, being in this energy, emotionally, again, manipulative, attention seeker, all of the above. All right, tell me more. Why are they in the Ten of Swords? Why are they hitting rock bottom, defeat? What were they doing? Or what were they trying to do, Holy Spirit? Something that got to do with the justice system. Wow. Wow, double confirmation y'all they was trying to do some type of scamming all right because they was feeling um like they couldn't handle all the responsibilities or life was life in and they decided to do something with the justice system we got two cards double confirmation here of the justice system something that's going on right now and they're now stressed because what they was doing they didn't see it coming now they have a fear of the unknown all right lack of planning fear of the unknown definitely they uh they don't know what's coming now they wasn't expecting this to happen okay whatever they was trying to do they was not able to complete the goal they was not able to achieve the goal all right and again now they have this fear of the unknown okay so this person is in this uh rock bottom energy they're about to get locked up that could be that too with the ten of swords or they're going to be taking a lot of losses right now it says here painful ending hitting rock bottom collapse defeat failure all right all right let's move on holy spirit talk to me about this fashion industry what does the collective need to know about this person in the fashion industry oh let me see what fell all right they try to defeat you <laughs> they couldn't defeat you with their trickery uh they could have been trying to drag you into somebody else's conflict you know like they got beef with somebody and they wanted you to be a part of it or something like that and they wasn't able to do this okay tell me more holy spirit It was all like manipulation though. They wanted you to get caught up in this beef or if it's not a, if it's not a beef or something, it's just that they were trying to t defeat you. 
All right, we have past resentments. This could be somebody that maybe something happened in the past and you thought they got over it. You thought that y'all was cool. You know, maybe y'all work together in this fashion industry and now this person, you know, you're realizing that they was always holding on to that and always trying to defeat you. Yeah, we have here that this person is jealous. All right, they could have been abusive uh, physically or spiritually if they was doing any type of voodoo or, not, or anything like that. You know, it, it didn't work. Uh, we also have bad advice, manipulation. So this person, you know, they could have been acting again like y'all was cool and they were still holding on to some type of beef here. And um, they were trying to give you bad advice. Again, trying to take you out, you know, trying to defeat you. And you didn't even know. All right. <clears throat> so now with this eight of cups, they have no, no choice but to withdraw. But to change priorities, you know, go go get a fucking hobby. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to let this shit go. All right, because they wasn't able to uh manipulate you, they wasn't able to trick you, they wasn't able to defeat you. Okay, all right. Let's moving, let's move on now to this uh Capricorn energy, Holy Spirit. Who is this Capricorn man? What does the collective need to know about this Capricorn man, Holy Spirit? See what fell. Okay, they're giving up. They try to do something here to you. <laughs> All right, they could have. It's like again, everybody here they try to do something to you. That it's like we're seeing things on a collective basis with these uh these karmics. Okay, so collectively they all you know they try to take somebody out and they're all in this bus of shame. Okay, this bus of shame going to hell. Okay, so they try to um. To attack you with the seven of wands but now it says here destroy confidence they're giving up because basically what they were trying to do it didn't it didn't go through okay now page of pentacles they could have been attacking your finances something that got to do with your finances your stability and it didn't go through yeah eight of pentacles right here so maybe something that you do for a living okay your job your talent it says talent that turns into a profession they was attacking this <laughs> they wanted to destroy your confidence tell me more about this capricorn man holy spirit and it didn't work all right, you still popping. You know that you the shit. Whatever it is that you do for a living, you 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 still killing it out here. All right, tell me more. Yeah, definitely. They, they they played themselves. Look at that. Confirmation. Two cards talking about them having difficulties. They're carrying all this baggage, all this karmic debt. They cannot move on. They're way down right now. Now they have to adjust and rethink. Like, damn, how did I get myself caught up in this? And look, now they have a lack of confidence. They wanted that to happen to you, right? Look, this is the radio. They wanted to destroy your confidence. They was real cocky. Feeling like they could attack you, you know, like they could they could keep on maintaining this this attack or whatever the fuck they was doing here. And now they're like, oh shit, you know, now they're the ones with a lack of confidence, seeing that you are highly protected. Okay, all right, let's keep it pushing. Another one, another one bites the dust. Keep on fucking with a chosen one. You're gonna find out the hard way. Each and every motherfucking time, y'all. All right, spirit, talk to me about this new neighbor. What does the collective need to know about this new neighbor? The new neighbor we have here, they might come to you. I don't know. Let's keep going. Look, the new neighbor could be a, a, a fuckboy for some of y'all. All right? Somebody that's going to come to you on some bullshit, talking about a, a romance proposal, declaration of love. You know, like, this energy right here is telling me it's not going to be like this, okay? It's just somebody trying to come in and holler at you and tell you, you know, like, what's good, ma? What's good, bye? You know what I'm saying? However it resonates for you. But this is somebody who's out of balance. This is a fuck boy or a fuck girl. All right. Spirit wants you to be aware. For some of y'all, maybe you broke up with this person and they want to come back. Tell me more about this new neighbor. 
And what, they moved into your neighborhood? Oh my goodness. They, they moved into your building? Oh my goodness. Tell me more, Sperry, about this new neighbor. All right, if it's not an old person, you know, it's the two of cups reverse could be, if it's not like a, an, an ex, it's somebody that you're just not in balance with. And we can see here that you're not. All right, we have here, this person could have a lot of secrets. All right, it could be very mysterious. Yeah, again, it's coming out. You, you guys are, it's like an imbalance here. This person is not on your level. So what is the message uh, with this new neighbor, Holy Spirit? Tell me more about this, this person. All right, this is somebody, it says self, I'm getting self-protective from here. I feel like that's what they're telling you to do, protect your energy. Yeah, because look, bottom of the deck, they are toxic. It says beware of deceit or betrayal, all right? They're strategizing how to come hot at you, but Spirit is saying you're going to be let down, all right? So whoever this is for, you crushing on this neighbor, he's a fuck boy, she's a fuck girl. Do not let them come into your life. Protect your energy because they're just going to end up breaking your heart. Okay? Confirmation. All right. Let's move on to the mother. All right, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know about your mother? Okay? So this is somebody's mother that we're talking about here. All these cards today. Another one who's in a sticky situation because <laughs> that just happened earlier. All right. So your mother, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know about their mother? This got to be a karmic mom or something. Because this is karmic energy. All right. Six of Wands. You could be victorious regarding a situation. You could have been having an argument or something. All right. This harmony with your own mom. Uh, a karmic mom. All right. You could be in this energy of the Queen of Wands. All right. It's coming on the upright. You're very feisty. So you don't mind arguing and putting somebody in their place if you have to. All right. So the Six of Wands is talking about, you know, you being victorious. Uh, it says here winning significant battle. Uh, maybe you are, maybe you're going through a court battle with this person. All right. Tell me more. But I see you here being victorious. You're winning whatever this is. Even if it's an argument, whatever, you're not talking. Like, you know, you, go <laughs> you won the argument. You won the fight. You won the court battle. You are victorious here. Tell me more spirit. What is the six of wands? What are they winning here? Like, what is this about? Yeah, you, you, you having boundaries. Again, you spoke your truth. You said what you needed to say. With this queen of swords, it's like you spoke what you needed to say. And, and maybe you hurt somebody's feelings. <laughs> But you said what you needed to do, what you needed to say. All right. Uh, this person was becoming a burden to you. They was causing you to feel stressed. Maybe they had you doing too much that they were supposed to be doing. Look, responsibilities, martyr, burden, hard work, uh, house move. Maybe you need you moved out, so they, or you told them that they need to move out because they was very irresponsible. They're immature. They could be unemployed, you know, and they was just uh, causing you to feel like this, very burdened. All right. So. If you are going through a court battle or whatever this is with your mom, you are going to win, okay? You are going to be successful. You're going to be victorious. Uh, you know, whatever's going on, you're good, all right? If you're trying to get them out the house or whatever because they they, they're they bringing you drama, there is karmic mothers, and this is the karmic mother here. You're going to be fine, all right? You're going to win this battle. You're going to get everything that you, that you deserve, okay? Uh, and don't feel bad for moving on and leaving this person in the past because it's definitely giving toxic energy all right all right y'all so that's what i got here i hope i was able to bring clarity and confirmation peace